Hi. <clears throat> um, seems like somebody uh, saw a video about the. Uh, yeah, here it is. Uh, the build of my UV UV exposure unit, where I uh, actually uh, used uh, this paper cutter guillotine. Yeah, and it is a guillotine type paper cutter and uh, actually uh, asked me to do a review that was uh, Fuchikatores. Fuchikatores? Uh, I hope I didn't kill that name. And um, yeah, I'm using uh, Dale. It's a German company, so it's pronounced Dale, not Dale or something. 502, uh, that candle can handle six sheets of paper or something uh, like 0.8 millimeters. That's the spec uh, from the manufacturer, which translates to 0.0315 inch. And it costs about yeah, 25 bucks. So um, it's quite inexpensive. So um, why did I, why did I bought exactly that paper cutter. So uh, first thing is it's a guillotine type. So you have this nice uh, curved blade here and um, yeah I wanted that. Uh, alternatively um, you have uh, these cutters that just have a roller yeah, so a circular blade on uh, some guide which you can put uh, back and forth, but um, I don't like that. So uh, that was my first crit criteria, a uh, guillotine machine. And the second criteria was uh, it should be all metal. And um, I guess we get a little bit closer now. And... Yeah, you're missing the handle out here, but that's not important. Um, so yeah, uh, you have a lot of uh, scales here from business card format, uh, 9 inch by 13, 7 inch by 10, uh, A6, oh no, these are centimeters, um, no, these, these are... This must be some inch stuff here. Mm, you, you, you inch imperial people uh, know probably better if there's some seven by ten, nine by thirteen, and thirteen by eighteen uh, paper formats. Um, anyway, uh, so you have. A6 in metric, uh, A5 and A4. You have scales. And please uh, keep in mind that these scales to the left and the right. Um, these are um, yeah calibrated. So that's what's left on this side of the blade. Uh, has the exact length. Yeah, it couldn't be any different. So if I yeah, have a last look at the sheet, if you want to make a hard copy. Um, so if I put that sheet of paper in here at the 15 centimeter mark, and then I cut it, That edge is 15 centimeters. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The, the second reason. So I wanted something guillotine type. I wanted something that is quite narrow. Uh, there are things out there and uh, that can easily host uh, the machine bed. So the main body, a full a four page but uh, yeah that's hard to store away if you just use it uh, once in a blue month or so and um, yeah what full metal body 
yeah, that was my second criteria. So basically how I ended up with that machine was uh, I looked for the guillotine type and a full metal body and that was the cheapest one that was available. And uh, yeah, I already destroyed the specs, but uh, it said it can cut six sheets of paper and Well, <clears throat> now I have six sheets of paper. It can, it can. So really, I'm trying not to lose a finger here. So even with six sheets, uh, no problem at all. It really works fine. Um, it can also cut and this plastic here and this is really sturdy plastic. I have no idea what plastic that is. It's, it's not PE, it's something harder and it's uh, 0.4 millimeters but also it's no problem for the machine. Absolutely nice. So, uh, yeah, no problem at all. And uh, it also cuts, uh, oh, I cut with it a very thin aluminum. Uh, aluminium? Yeah, whatever your preference is. But this is only here. Let's see. Uh, this is 0 0.3 millimeter. Aluminum and yeah, <clears throat> also, this is no problems at all. This is very sharp and very nice. Um, keep in mind on the other side of a guillotine cutting machine, uh, your waist is probably quite, uh, can I have a focus here? Is probably a wee bit, I'm trying to get a focus, is a wee bit deformed, okay? But that's with all guillotine cutters. Um, yeah, what else can I say about that thing? Um, it's quite handy. Uh, it has a warning about the correct usage. Uh, do not use guillotine when guard is not in place, which is an interesting thing uh, because, um, yeah, getting out here in the field. Uh, What guard? Do, you, do they talk about that thing and uh, how is that saving my finger? I mean, uh, it isn't. Or won't it cut my finger? Uh, yeah. <clears throat> I guess uh, insurance policy or whatever. Um, yeah. Obviously, you can uh, change the main blade, so that's really not a problem. There's a, a nice screw here and also uh, the counterpart of the blade, which is also an extra piece of, I guess, hardened metal. You can change that too. And regarding hardened, uh, give me a sec. Regarding hardened or not hardened, 
So uh, just for you, I put a file to it. Yeah, that's more or less, I get a focus. That's where I put the file on it. That's hardened, most definitely. And yeah, let's do it outside here. I will never cut here. Yeah, okay, this is black on black, that's uh, not the best I can do, but uh, yeah, that's only the black finish that's gone here. So yeah, uh, both parts are pretty hard, uh, I'd say. So uh, that's okay. Um, yeah, what I don't like uh, about it is, um, yeah, it also for 25 bucks, it has, it has drawbacks. So I, what I don't like about it is that hold down, which, uh, yeah, I guess uh, you're supposed to put the paper through here and then hold it down. And yeah, so it cannot move and that works, uh, yeah. And it's semi-transparent, so uh, you can actually see what you're doing. But uh, yeah, simply, I don't like it. But I guess it's the cheapest solution uh, for such a small machine. I mean, there are machines where this is also uh, lever actuated somewhere and really presses down. Uh, but then for, I think, 400 uh, bucks or so, you get a dollar with a laser projector uh, really projecting the line where you're cutting. And that's the second thing I don't really like about that machine. Um, <clears throat> if you try to align something here, uh, so not by the scales, but uh, over the cutting edge, uh, that's a wee bit fiddly. It's, it's, uh, yeah. Um, you can do it, it's working, but uh, don't expect your first cut to be uh, right on the spot or right on the line. Uh, of course, a 25 euro machine has some plastic on it, so uh, here are the parallels for uh, aligning your paper. They are plastic and they are heat staked down. Uh, I mean, these are sturdy heat stakes, uh, so no problem there. Uh, the end caps are also plastic and uh, interestingly they are not heat staked but uh, snapped in for whatever reason. I don't know why. Maybe so you can access that. Uh, can you see that? Uh, that nut back here better so you can take that off and uh, Access the nut when you're changing the blade. Something around, along these lines. Yeah, and uh, it has some um, very, very foamy uh, rubber feet, which give it, at least here on uh, that desk, uh, a really good stand. So uh, it's sliding, yes, but uh, as soon as it's there's pressure on it, uh, yeah, it's quite okay. So, uh, <clears throat> that was by request the review of the uh, guillotine type paper cutter I'm using. 
uh, the reasons why I want it. Metal, all metal. Ah, most of it metal. And uh, yeah, um, hope that helps you <coughs> next shopping spree when you're uh, out uh, hunting for paper cutter. Bye.